After successfully bringing to an end the great war between the three sons of the Emperor of China, Sando Khan and his friends now must return their attention to finding the third piece of the invincible sword of Nandaka, the mystical blade. <laughs> Bring it to me. The war is ended. Tian Chu has died, and the three gold arrows are returning to Beijing to celebrate their victory. That which the heavens themselves have united, the sword can never truly divide. But now we have no time to lose. We must begin preparations to celebrate the return of our emperor. It must be the greatest festival in the long memory of China. Hurry with those leeks, and don't forget the radishes. Put the fish over that table there, boy, and be quick about it. Here's the menu, Fushan. There will be over 500 guests for the banquet, and everything must be ready by tomorrow evening. Huh? But, but that's impossible. My staff can't prepare that much food in one day. Don't worry, we can recruit some of those beggars outside to help you out. Are you finished with that? I need it. What's with all the food today? The Empress wants to honor the foreigners that have helped defeat the evil Tian Chu. It's a terrible shame his accomplice, the Jade Fox, was able to get away. Yeah, they'd probably like to serve Fox at the main course at the banquet. Jade Fox on a skewer. <laughs> Maybe they can serve you up instead. With that fat belly of yours, you'd make an excellent replacement for a roast pig. <laughs> Here they are, Fushan. I'll take the boy with the floppy hat. You and you. And these two elves over here. Please choose me, noble Fushan. I'll work very hard for you, I promise. You are much too weak, woman. I need men with strong arms. Like this guy. Now move along and stop Please, wasting master. my- Please, master. I beg you, I have children to feed. <laughs> Thank heaven. Finally, I have a paying job. It's been days since my family had a decent meal. I huh? have a way to end your misery. And put something in your fat belly. <laughs> Enjoy your meal. And now it's time to work. Long live Suyang! The three arrows have returned! Hooray for the Emperor! Here's to the Princess! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! The Chinese are really an incredible people! Yes, quite extraordinary! But then they probably think the same about us, little buddy. All of us have become a part of the living history of China. True, but we still have to find the weapon of the second guardian of Mandaka and discover the secret location of the mystical blade. I won't be much help to anyone with my wrist broken like this. I'm useless in a fight. If I'm ever lucky enough to get my hands on that evil jade fox again, the nicest thing I'll do is wring her neck. My children, the Three Arrows, the very heart of China. Thanks to our great friend, Sandokan. It was my humble honor to be of service, but all I did was bring back together what was destined to remain united. Permit us to show you a small measure of our gratitude. Be careful, don't drop. Hurry!
Hurry up, Fushan. You still have over 600 steamed dumplings to prepare. <sighs> hey, you there! I need you to be mincing the vegetables. Immediately, Fushan. Move, you accursed traitor. Tomorrow you will be hung. Ugh. I hope you all rot with the devil! You first! Guzo, I must find my way into the palace. Hmm. Mmm, these noodles smell really delicious. If only I could figure out how to eat them. Well, if it's a fight you noodles want... There's a fight you got! Is that the way one eats in Kiltar? table manners from the likes of Yanez. I'm happy that you are all enjoying this banquet, but I wish there was something more that I could do to show my gratitude for all you have done for us. True friendship never asks for reward, but there is a reason we have traveled to China. We are seeking an ancient artifact. We are on a holy mission. Open the cell, Wan Lo. Our great and noble emperor has decided to grant a last meal to the prisoner. That makes sense. One must always fatten up a pig before it gets slaughtered. <laughs> Eat it yourself. I'm not hungry. At least sample this pie that I baked for you. You! That dessert smells too good. Give it to me in one low. Here! Ah! What's going on? <laughs> 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 That's for calling me a pig! You're a fool to come here, Jade Fox. If they catch you, you're dead. I've come here to get what I was promised, and you're going to help me. Help me! Someone help! My father and your father were actually friends, together with two other noble sovereigns of the Orient, they were guardians of four parts of an invisible sword called Nandaka, which served an order of monks faithful to Vishnu. Nandaka? Vishnu? Our father never mentioned anything about these things. Your father had to hide a powerful mystical blade, which would be dangerous if it ever fell into the wrong hands. Did the Emperor happen to speak to you about any weapons that he was particularly fond of? She means something like a sword or a dagger with a gemstone set on its pommel. The only weapon that our father was ever attached to was his bow and arrows. That's why he always called us his three golden arrows. In our honor, he commissioned the crafting of three special arrows. They were made of solid gold, and all three were set with gemstones. They still hang in the wall of his room. Oh, may I see them? Right this way. Ah. 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 What the devil? Follow me. Ah. Ah. They were right here. Someone has stolen them. But that's impossible. Perhaps our thief was one of the guests at tonight's banquet. However they entered, they must still be in the palace. We have to find them. Your Highness, the prisoner Kuzo has escaped from jail. Ah. It was a woman that set him free. A woman? Yes, we think it's the Jade Fox. She matched the description. Huh? I knew that she'd be back. Madam Jade Fox has a tattoo on her shoulder. If she's among those women, she'll be found out. I have grave news, Venerable Suyan. The two fugitives are nowhere to be found. But how could they have escaped if all the doors of the palace have been guarded? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Unless... <laughs> hmm. 
What exactly is the purpose of that well? It's not a well. It's a sewer system. The garbage that gets thrown in there is carried out to Meng Lai, the river that runs along Beijing. Then that's how they were able to escape. They merely follow the trash that goes through the sewers. We don't have a minute to lose. Yanez and I are going into these sewers. We're going to head to the exit so we can make sure they don't double back. Meet us there. Are you sure about this, little buddy? It's pretty disgusting down there. You go first. Okay. Okay. So this is a Chinese sewer. I swear, I'm never gonna eat another noodle as long as I live. They had to have passed this way, no doubt about it. I'll order roadblocks to be set up across the whole region. They mustn't be allowed to flee the territory. It's best if we split up. We'll follow the river and hope we can find their tracks. <laughs> this time, we won't let them get away. You can bet on it. Ha! Lao Yan, enough with the flute already. Even the horses are starting to get annoyed with your playing. You're just not that good. Ah, oh, but it's my favorite song. <sighs> Let's stop here for a while. The horses seem thirsty to me. You can make yourself useful hauling water from the river. Don't uh, say a word if you value your life. Uh, who are you? I'm in serious danger. My husband, Fu Shan, caught me playing the flute, and because women aren't allowed to do so, he reported me to the Emperor. That's horrible! The Imperial Guard is hunting for me, and I have nowhere to hide. I'm so cold and frightened. I don't think I can hold out much longer. I'll help you. Come with me. <sighs> Say, you're kind of handsome. Hmm. <laughs> Lao Yan, what are you doing back there? Let's go. I don't want to wait all day. Uh, nothing. Uh, just making sure everything's tied down. We can go now. Hurry, Kuzo. Ugh. You're incredible. With any luck, by tomorrow we'll be in Chongda. Do you have the arrows? The gems alone are worth a fortune. Wake up, Lao Yang. We've come to a roadblock. Halt! We must search your wagons by order of the Emperor. Search wherever you like. We are bringing fabrics to Chengda. We're not interested in your fabrics. We're searching for a woman. A woman? And a dangerous criminal. She has murdered a lot of people. And when we find her, she'll learn the... Oh. I'll remove your head from your neck if you don't do exactly Everything as I say. Everything here looks perfectly fine. You are free to go. Ah, yes. <gasps> Wonderful. But tell me, how much gold do you happen to have on you? Why is that? You trying to sell me a suit? <laughs> yes, a suit for your funeral. <laughs> a diabolical woman indeed. And a greedy one. I think she's capable of doing anything for gold. Do you think we'll be able to find her? We have no choice. If we lose her, we lose the only chance that we have to find the mystical blade. Ah, oh, beautiful. Huh? What a beautiful view. The moon, I mean.
You're thinking about the Jade Fox, aren't you? I hate her. I had never been beaten by anyone before, especially a woman. You know, winning isn't everything. It's okay. Well, I don't see it that way, Yanez. I can't afford to let anyone get the better of me. That's the way I am, and it's the way I need to be. There's nothing wrong with a person sometimes needing protection. Not me. Why should I need protection? I've always gotten by fine on my own, okay? All I was trying to say was that if you ever wanted someone to Come lean here, on, quickly. I... Huh? A deep stab to the stomach, just like the guards that were killed in the jail. Those wounds are the trademark of that witch, huh? the Jade Fox. There's someone in that wagon. Oh. Please help me. If I had known who she was, I wouldn't have helped that assassin. Believe me. The other one, that Kuzo, I don't know where he came from. Maybe he was hidden in the wagon. Tell me, did the Jade Fox say where she was headed? To Changna. She said that she had some jewels that she needed to sell. <clears throat> from the three arrows. I told the innkeeper that we're two newlyweds on our honeymoon. That should give us some privacy. Now what about those arrows? They will be hard to sell without giving us away. Stop your worrying. We'll be free of the problem by the end of the day. <laughs> I'm only interested in these stones. Beijing is full of jewelers that will pay a fortune to have them. Soon, I will be the richest woman in all of China. Aren't you forgetting about your partner? <laughs> <laughs> Take the arrows and melt them down. The gold by itself will buy you an army. <laughs> looking for the Jade Fox in this city is like looking for a needle in a haystack. The fact is, she could be just about anywhere by now, and so could the Three Arrows. I don't think she's interested in hiding from us. The only thing on her mind is money. You think she wants to sell the Arrows? Yes, the first chance she gets. And Chengda is the ideal place. The city is filled with jewelers and blacksmiths. Well then, we know what we should do. We have to visit all the jewelers. Okay, Yanez and I will cover the south end, you and Kamamori will take the north, and Morugan can search the west. But where is Morugan? She was here a minute ago. Huh? <sighs> Anything? Nobody in there has seen her. But we still have about 20 jewelers to go. Don't worry, Yanez. I'm sure we'll find her. It's Marugan I'm worried about. I don't want her confronting the Jade Fox in her condition. A ruby of great value. How did you come by this incredible stone? It belonged to my third husband. The Sultan of Magawi. It's a magnificent jewel, but unfortunately far too expensive for me. I am sorry, I can't buy this from you. What a pity. I'd have made a good bargain. But I do think I know of someone who might be interested. A wealthy Indian noblewoman that collects precious stones. She is lodging at the Inn of the Golden Rooster. I'll certainly pay this woman a visit. Oh, boy! <laughs> nice view! Oh, that was the Jade Fox! Hurry, Yanes! We have to catch her! And you're sure of that? Yes, a man matching your description came to see me this morning. He was in a hurry to melt some gold, but I don't have a furnace, so I sent him over to a blacksmith that does. And where in this town can I find this blacksmith? Right across the street and down the alley. Huh? The rickshaw's gone! Now what? Gee, I can't believe we lost her! Is anyone here? Madam Salong, I hate to disturb you, but I've heard from a jeweler in this city that we share a passion for precious stones, and I simply couldn't resist the urge to show them to you. Madam, is this some kind of joke? A statue! No, it's a oh. trap! <laughs> Do you remember me? <sighs> How could I forget? You're the little bird whose wing I broke. Man, 
where could she have gone, huh? Huh? There's Marugan! Oh. Okay, gotcha now. Hand me those stones now, girl, or I'll finish you off. I don't think so. If you want them, come and take them. <sighs> Have it your way. I'll make you scream for mercy. <sighs> Maruga! Uh -huh. <gasps> Behind you! You okay? Cover yourself, you're trembling. Yeah, I'm okay, thanks to you. But she only had the jewels. The arrows are missing. Hurry, blacksmith, put those arrows in the furnace. Stop mm. now, or you're dead. Huh? Those ah. arrows are the property of the Emperor. Ah. 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 Oh. That's a good girl, Randy. Did they melt? Huh? They're okay. We got here in time. There should be a series of small inscriptions in the hollows where the three gemstones were originally set. The first image is of a blade. The second is the head of a dragon. And the third one is a Buddha. It looks like the sleeping Buddha of that pot in Siam. A small blade, a dragon in Siam. I'm not sure that I understand the meaning. When we were children, our father often told us the tale of a mystical blade. It was guarded by a dragon that lived in a sea of mud in Siam. But dragons don't even exist, much less in a sea of mud. But the Buddha of that pot exists, and that's exactly where we need to begin our search for the mystic blade. In Siam. Time to go!